Jenkins. President Harrison, today we are celebrating the 200th anniversary of the birth of Dr. Walther, one of the founding fathers and the first president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Tell us today about what the significance is uh, for LCMS Lutherans today of this anniversary. The book of Hebrews says, remember your teachers, the one who spoke the word of God to you. Hebrews 13. There's something fundamentally Christian and advocated by the Bible that we remember those in our past who are faithful to the Word of God. And it's really interesting. A lot of people think, well, if you concentrate on the past, you're really not going to go forward. But just the opposite is true. Uh, right from the beginning, Jesus comes preaching repentance. Think about what you've done in the past. Repent now. Then he stands up in the synagogue reading the book of Isaiah. For Pete's sake, it was 800 years before him. What possible message could that have? And yet the message from Isaiah was for now. So every great sort of lurch forward in the church's life always begins by saying, back. Back to the scriptures. Back to the fathers. You see this in the Psalms over and over again in the Old Testament where they talk about remembering how God was faithful to our fathers and faithful to our father Abraham and David. And the entire Lutheran Reformation was this too. I mean, the first thesis of the 95 Thesis was when our Lord and Master Jesus Christ says repent, he wills that the entire life of the Christian be one of repentance. And Luther preaches right at that point, repent, back to the scriptures back to faithful fathers. And the church had a huge forward push, a missiological push we've never had since. And Walter came along doing the same thing. It's time to repent. There's no power in us for anything before God. We are beggars. We receive. And Walter was constantly saying, back to Luther, back to the Lutheran Confessions. And what happened to the Missouri Synod? It grew and grew and grew and grew. Tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. He also said, let us be faithful, not try to be big. And guess what? As the Lord granted fidelity, he granted us growth, unbelievable growth. So.